Hey, can you, I just want to ask you about the first practice, everybody being back together, and just how important it was for you to be there today. I mean, it was very important for me to um, kind of be here today, kind of get back in the building, get my feet wet, kind of get used to the terminology, and kind of, for me, it was more of getting used to, getting back used to the coaching points that was made about playbook. That's what kind of interested me um, this offseason, then just get back in the building running around. I know it's not everybody out there, but it, did you have a sense of just a, a start of things, if you will, in terms of, of this team uh, making its first steps towards towards training camp in the season ahead? Can you repeat the question, please? I said, I know it wasn't everybody out there today, but just mm -hmm. what it means to have everybody out there kind of taking that first step for the season. Um, I kind of understand, like, with the guys who was here, we kind of understand, like, what the expectations is. So I guess us kind of getting in early – getting the kind of head start on things. Then you got, it was just the older guys who mostly wasn't here. Um, but them, them guys already know the plan and what we want and what's the expectation for this season. So the ones who are here, we kind of want to already get a jump start on it. And then we're waiting for the rest of the team. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Rick Stroud. Hey, Keyshawn, is there any particular part of your game uh, that you'd like to try to emphasize uh, this off season? Um, what I was working on this offseason was kind of um, getting used to catching the ball. Um, that was kind of my biggest thing, not getting used to it, but getting more comfortable with it. Um, running, Then learning the playbook and then understanding the details that my teammates are looking for when running these routes, when I got the ball, and then just studying the playbook, being ready for this upcoming and, season. And I know um... – you know, you have a pretty good running back room, to say the least. They, they've added Giovanni. I don't know if you had a chance to meet him before today. Um, just just what do you make of just all the talent that you guys have now and, and how you will sort of, uh, you know, compete and fit into that? I mean, my job um, is just to go out there every day and compete. Um, I lead the rest up to the coaching staff and whoever decides who plays or who's not. But I just know that I come to control what I go out there and do. But, but besides that, I love the running back room. We got – it's good energies in there. Uh, I met Giovanni uh, probably like last week or so. And, uh, he a good guy to be around, learning from him, kind of giving me pointers on his game. And then, like I said, it's a good room, so we good. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Luke Easterling. Hey, Sneak. Um you know, not a lot of rookies get to experience a, a championship season like you and the rest of the rookie class did last year. A lot of guys wait their whole careers to do that. What did that experience that season? I know COVID, you know, played a role in it being very unique on its own right, but being able to go on such a magical run with this team, what does that mean for you moving forward in your career? What did that teach you moving forward uh, about what it takes to win at the highest level? I mean, just being around this team, you got so many future Hall of Famers on this team. There's nothing you can do but learn and steal parts of their game um, and kind of put it in your toolbox. Um, that's the biggest thing, kind of taking what's around you, using your resources. Tom Brady, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, whoever's on the field, whoever's around, them are future Hall of Famers. So just being around them guys kind of make me want to work harder, make me want to be that future Hall of Famer. So um, then the expectations are already set. So I'll just go from there. Um, I know what it takes to get there. And I know what needs to be done to get there. And then for me, it's playing in the Super Bowl. That's my next step. Um, I won one now. I want to play in one and win one. So that's the next step. And when you look back at the the lack of offseason that you guys had last year and the fact that you guys really didn't feel like you hit your stride until after that bye week, and obviously you had a great finish to the season, is it is it silly to think that you guys, even after that dominant run in the playoffs, that you can be even better from the from the jump this year? Of course, um, you can always get better. It's never enough. It's never a such thing as enough. So um, you can always get better, always can grow from both sides of the ball, special teams, wherever. It's always room to improve because you got to understand them guys on the opposite side of the ball are watching film too, trying to kind of beat up. They trying to break us down, trying to figure out our game too. So they trying to get to Super Bowl just like we is. Thanks, Nick. Next, we'll go to John Ledyard. Sneak, I'm curious, last year as a rookie, what was the most difficult thing for you transitioning from college to the NFL and, and playing your position? i say the most difficult thing for me was kind of, it was more mentally than kind of physically being at 
I wasn't getting a lot of reps. Um, things weren't going my way. And kind of, I kind of figuring out college versus the league. Then, like, like I came into it with Tom Brady, who's expecting you to be ready right now. Mm. And so his expectations for me um, was Kai. And mentally, it was a lot, but I figured it out, kind of slowed the game down, and now I'm ready. So, What's your path to getting on the field this season? You've got guys like Leonard Fournette, Ronald Jones, Giovanni Bernard, or some veteran guys around you now, and you've got to find a way. Your goal, obviously, is to find a way to get on the field. What do you see as being your path to get on the field? What areas of your game do you have to get to that level where you can bypass and get some reps from some of those guys? I, I believe it's just um, when I'm out here at practice, kind of showing them that I can do everything, catch the ball, run the ball, block, whatever it needs to be done, I can do it. And then th that's just come along with gaining the trust from them. So once I gain that trust, everything else will fall in place. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Greg Almond. Hey, Key, I want to ask you about the, the jersey number switch. You know, you went from 30 to 21. I just want to ask you why that number is special to you, why you made the change. Honestly, I made the change, one, because my favorite running back is LaDainian Thompson. Um, growing up, sure. that's somebody I used to watch all the time. So, of course, 21 was a number. But that I also decided on that number when it was the old number rule. So, at that point, 21 was the lowest number. Besides 20, was the lowest number that a running back could get. So, I was fine with getting 21. But the single digits popped out. Um, <laughs> I was debating on changing then, but I was like, well, I'm going to go and run with 21. So. I'm stuck with it. Thanks, Keisha. We have time for a few more. Next, we'll go to Josh Allen. Hey, Keisha. Just kind of wanted to ask you, last year you came in and, you know, it was uh, during a pandemic. You didn't have OTAs, you didn't have mini camp, and, and then you were kind of missed the beginning of training camp. How much do you think having this full offseason is going to help prepare you to get ready to play uh, the season this year and, and be able to contribute? Um, I think this offseason – gonna play a big part being that I know what the expectations are um kind of coming in last year I didn't know what to expect I just knew that I was going to the league didn't know how practices was ran didn't know the intensity intensity and then also didn't know the expectations of of other players on the team and then like everybody out here is good so it's no it got to be details that set you apart because everybody's so good but everybody don't know the important details of the game and that's something that I was learning last year um, small details matter. It don't matter about um, scoring 60-yard touchdowns. It's, what matters is helping the team get a first down and keep the drive going, and that's kind of something that I'm picking up on. Thanks. 